you know, uh, I'm African descendant, man. You know, we all come from Africa, right? We all born from the motherland, man, you know, and um, some of us was taken for granted, you know, man, became slaves and we built the country from scratch. You understand what I'm saying? This message from Joe yeah. Biden, right? I ain't knocking nobody who you like, who you vote for. I noticed for. the look of surprise on your but face when you walked into the chamber. This motherfucker so said illegal immigrants are the ones who built the country. That kind of disturbed me because you know how many whips my people's got on their back for building this motherfucking country? You know how many my people's work free labor building this motherfucking country because? You. Yeah. And you African in your blood. So, you know, we come from your descendant, man. You hear me? Yeah, so. But, 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 but pin his message, though, man. Listen to him, man. Then Marjorie yeah. Taylor. Green. I want you to respond to him, man. How you feel this about that, man? Shock at, at seeing her. But during your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, an Lakin Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look... When I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about in the border was that his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not gonna do, what I won't do. I'm not gonna treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing. They built the they built country. Let's rewind that, y'all. What was that? They built the country. The what was that? not going to do what I won't do. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our con they built the oh, country. Oh, they built, they built the country. Let me hear what he was about to say after that. All right, let's go. Go ahead. So you go to spawn property. That's right. To control the border. And, let's and go back a little bit to get it from the beginning. Any of these people with disrespect. Look, they built the country. The reason our economy is growing, we have to control the border and a more orderly flow, but I, I don't share his view at all. So you, you regret using that word? Yes. I basically what happened, right? Uh, yeah. he, he came to do his speech. Now, um, tri uh, Federal Triangle, uh, Northwest DC and shit, right? And yeah. a, a, a somebody came and was like, hey, what happened about Lakeland Riley? Lakeland Riley is a white American female, right? She uh was going to college in Georgia. An illegal immigrant came, right? And murdered her. Right? Right. So when they asked him about it, he called him an illegal immigrant. And then they don't like using that word. They call them migrants. Okay. A migrant is someone who comes to the country legally looking for a better dream. Right? right? An illegal immigrant is someone who sneaks through the motherfucking border. Right? And then get the same satisfaction, get the same rights as a citizen. So when he called him that, he called him illegal doing that preach and got a lot of backlash through his own party. So now he's trying to clean it up. Ain't nothing wrong with cleaning it up. But the fact you're going to sit up there and say they built the country? Come on, man. How, 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 how you feel about that, man? What you, what you got to say about that, man? People's too sensitive. You know what I'm saying? That's not a big deal for me, but I think him saying they built the, he built the country. You know, you get a lot of cheap labor. Well, fix your mic, fix your mic, fool. Fix your mic. I can't hear you. I can't hear you no more, bro. Can't hear you. Hey, man. There we go. I That's extreme. Man. I wouldn't. Hey, start over. Start over. I couldn't hear you at first. Start over. Okay, okay, okay. Start over. Your phone was, so, it was out. Let's, I can hear you clearly now. Yeah. So, so this is what I'm saying. Right. Cheap labor. 
cheap labor comes from Spanish people. Right. You're not, not going to pay a black person anything. You're not going to pay, definitely not going to pay a white person anything. Right. So this cheap labor that sustains or makes the, you know, makes a good come up for the, the owner of his or economy or whatever that comes from Spanish people. That's the only angle I can see him saying that they built this country. Okay, they, okay, they okay. Cheap, country. cheap labor. Because, okay, they, they got cheap labor, right? What about free labor? Motherfucker, we did free exactly. labor. Nigga. Exactly. Do I need to pull up the Django the movie? So, so so guess what? Before you before you said what you was about to say, I was about to say, man, they didn't build the country. Because the country was already the country before they came here. You understand? Like back in the early nineteen hundreds, late eighteen hundreds. Your phone going out, yeah? Your phone going out. Your phone, your phone going out, bro. Your phone going out, man. I, I heard you clear earlier. Let's get you back. Let me see. Come on, man. Your phone going up. Ah. I can hear you now. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfect now. Perfect now. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, let, 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 let's give a little bit of history, right? Aye, 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 aye. The country was Native Americans, right? Aye. Exactly. The French and English came over here in the seventh, in the, six, the 1600s, right? 1700s. They battled, the, the English and the French battled for this land, right? I the, the the English won. They were promised the East Coast. That's it. But you could you could couldn't come no further than the Appalachian Mount, Mountains. Those are the mountains which cross from Virginia a little, little to the uh Midwest, which is Ohio and all that. Right? They right. couldn't come no further than that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, but Americans were still coming over there. To steal land. They wanted land. They wanted more money, more greed, more power they wanted, right? All right. So the British and Americans and the English, they got tired of the taxes that the British was trying to charge the English. So they went to war, which caused the American Revolution, right? Hello. The English won. Right, right. The English won that war with the help of the French, right? So the promise was the British would leave and leave Americans only the Ohio area and the East Coast, right? Spain, all right, and Aztecs, the Aztecs was in Mexico. It was no Mexico back then. It was called the Aztecs. They ran the Columbia area, Mexico, Guatemala, all that. The California, they owned all of that, Right? So the, mm -hmm. the, the uh, Americans started a war. They wanted to take over the whole continent. President Jefferson in 1812, he said, fuck it. We're going to take over the whole motherfucking continent. We're going to run this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Right. So they went to war against the Spanish in 1848. You Google it. The California... It was the Mexican and the uh, English War. We won. They won. Not we ain't part of that That's shit. A little bit of history. A little bit of history. They won. So they took over. They owned it. You understand know what I'm saying? A, a, a Native Americans were still battling to claim their land. They just won in Ohio area. You understand know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. So what they did was went to Africa and Africans already had their own people in slavery. So when white people came to Africa, yeah, they stole black Africans, but black Africans also had Africans for sale. When you get yes. there, you don't have to come to the yes. country and hunt. We got a bushel of them loaded, up. ready for you. Packed up already. Right? Packed up already. Done. There you go. And we're going to bring them to America for free slavery, bro. Cotton. Dog, you know cotton, you could make clothes. Yeah. Uh, pillows, blankets, all type of shit. You understand what I'm saying? And then when you watch TV, well, 
Go ahead. Go ahead. When you watch TV, Bro, right? They just good. they just try to make it seem like Pete Blacks was only picking cat and no nigga. You were building. You were sex slave, sex trafficking. You were rape. You were reproducing children. You had to pick flowers. You had to cook all type of shit. And if you don't, you get a whoosh, whip into your ass. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 right here, right. This is how I feel. This on training day, right? This is why I want to say to Joe Biden, bro. This is why I, know, I want to say to him. Look, listen. Like that. L- this what De- listen what Denzel say too. Wait, this what I want to say. No, you did. Hey, hey, Jay, hey, Jay, Jay, Jay. This is what I want to say to biting bitch ass. Jay, Jay, you disloyal fool ass bitch made punk. Jay, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying, saying bro? Like, like, how many, how many can they get on that though, cuz? You know what I'm saying? This ain't knocking nobody vote. This ain't knocking how you feel. But the choices that he used for words, man, I think was kind of like wrong, man. How you feel? Do you think those was good words to use for niggas like me? I'm, I'm not trying to say, like, Go ahead. Listen, I like Trump, right? right? And, and Trump says the most. He just says it from his chest. Like, he says the he says whatever he's feeling. So I'm not tripping off what you say. I'm more tripping off what you do. Like, with my president, man, got to make the economy right, man. We okay. got to eat. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm worried about. You worried about eat. Okay, okay. You don't give a fuck about what he say. He can say whatever. He can say, hey, 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 we going to do this, nigga. LGBTQ community. Yeah. You get that. With all, with, as long as you made the community yeah. right. And anyway, they tell you lies. Yeah, they, they tell you lies. lies. They tell you lies. <laughs> About what they do, bro. It's about you know, what they do. George Bush. The fuck was that? Yeah, but hey, look, George Bush gave everybody a thousand dollars, nigga, on them taxes, nigga. Man, Trump gave them motherfucking uh, uh, them checks too. Man, when Trump was president, that money was flowing. Money, money was flowing. still flowing, but I'm just saying, it was new, all new money, like different debts. It was new money coming in, bro. So I, nah. if it's up to me, I like Trump as president. You like Trump, I feel you, son. I like Trump too, but I'm the type like me. I don't vote, right? Because uh, let me tell you why I don't vote, right? Uh, uh, my religion is Christian, right? This not to offend Muslims, Buddhists, uh, whatever you are, Seven Day Adventists, Baptists, Mormons. This ain't to offend none of y'all, right? All right. The Republican Party. Uh, it's a lot of racism, white supremacists in that party, right? And then the Democrat party, you you into homosexuals too much, right? And and the Bible, we don't they don't we don't agree with that. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you go in the Bible and just go look at what they say about homosexuals, they don't uh, we don't agree with that. And they are the biggest fans yeah. of that party. So for me to stand in line and Did say, hey. About- I'm going to vote for somebody who's a homosexual lover. Come on, man. I can't call myself a true Christian. If I'm going to stand in line and cast my vote for somebody who say, hey, I'm a homosexual lover. So, so get this. Let me let you know about this. See, that's a sensitive topic in America. Of course, I know where I stand. You know where you stand about that. We stand the same way. Hey, but... Man, you just let the people have their choice, man. If that's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. I'm not knocking you. Hey, 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 hey bro. If you want, if you, if you, if you a man, right, and you want to cut your ding and ling off, that's your business. If you want to cut your ding and ling off and and, and and get a booty, that's your motherfucking business. But but what, I'm not going to vote for that though. I have two sons. I don't want them waking up to America thinking that's okay. That is not okay. You going hey, to fucking what? hell. You going hey, straight to hey, hell. Hey, hey. He so made Adam and Eve. That's your right and everybody else right who feel like that. This America, so everybody has their right to feel however they want to feel. So that's your right, that's my right, and that's whoever It's not right. the right, it's the truth, it's the Bible. I go off the, hey bro, that's what's going on right now. We have to go off the Bible, homie. 
and the Quran. If you a Muslim, you go off the Quran. If you a Christian, you go off the Bible. You don't go off what you feel. You don't go off what you think. Fuck your opinion. It's what the Bible states. It's what the Quran states. Yeah, but yeah, that's uh, that's holy people that's gonna think like that. It's people out here that don't think. Look at the people that are the people that are the homosexuals. It doesn't say you know what I'm saying they're obviously not in the Bible. Obviously not in the Quran. Yeah, that's, that they, my, my thing is how can like, how can you go vote? How can you go, just, how can you cast your vote for a party that favor in it? I'm voting for. Huh? You vote for Trump. You vote for Trump? Okay, salute, man. Big ooh, say he vote for Trump, man, at the end of the day. Hey, hey, DJ Jizzle, I ain't asking who you vote for, who you like, man. Hey, let, 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 how, how you feel about it, though, man? DJ Jizzle, man, like, 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 I know you're busy right now, man. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? But what's your intake on it, man? Did you feel as though that illegal immigrants built the country? No, they didn't know that. Right now, they are, I guess, they're the only people in, in like the infrastructure that's being built. That's all you see is immigrants. That's, all. that's it. Hey, look, and, so, I, I, and I don't knock so, them. I, I don't knock them, though. I'm not with illegal immigrants. Let's bring 1,500 through here, 2,000 there. But these, Joe Biden let 10 million through, bro. Okay, that's what. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold you you on, got bro. terrorists. Yeah. You got terrorists. People that was on the terrorist watch list that's been coming through. Listen, bro. I'm, I'm scared to get on the plane, bro. My birthday coming up. I'm scared to. I, I want to say, hey, ooh, I'm trying to go to Miami. Nigga, I'm buying everybody a ticket. You hear me? Now, I'm scared to get on the motherfucking plane. They, they got, they got secret services. They be on that shit. Let's go. But look, I just got it, bro. So this is how. This is this is how. This is how it is. Spanish people do not help build this country, but right now they help sustain the country through infrastructure. When you when you see people doing construction, seventy five to eighty percent of them is Spanish folks. You know why? Because they're giving them those jobs, bro. At the end of the day, like like, hold on, let me let me... come on, come on, come on. They're giving them those jobs because they'll they will do the job. Okay, the same job that they'll do for twenty dollars an hour. You gotta pay me almost forty. You gotta pay a black man down there forty. Or you gotta pay a black man double. So you don't think that's fucking up the economy? You gotta pay a white man fifty. So so you don't think that's fucking up the economy? You said do I think that's fucking up the economy? Yes, sir. You fucking up labor, uh, bro. Like like that, that my forty dollars an hour that you should be getting, you paying somebody twenty. So now I gotta go out here and sell drugs that you're bringing in. The, okay, what you doing? You send a team. Hold on, hold on. You are gonna send a team through, right? With drugs. Right, where well, I can go sell and risk my freedom, and then go send another working team through. That's gonna take our job. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and you know what? So put it like this. Yeah, that's how it is. We, I'm looking. You look at it from that angle. They looking at it like this. Let's say that you're the owner of this shit. You you own this business, right? And you you can build this building, and it can take you if you if you hire all black people. It can take you a hundred million to build this building. Right. If you hire all, it'll take you one hundred and fifty million to build this building. But if you hire Spanish people, it's going to take you thirty-five, forty billion to build this building. I mean, I'm going to hire both races because I'm not like anti-social, I'm but, not racist, none but, of that. But at the end of the day, gotta, I'm going I'm to pay you the same that I'm going to pay no somebody else. I'm not going to look for cheap labor. I'm not going to say, hey, let's put my these people on the side. And we're gonna bring these people up and pay these niggas. No, you fucking the economy up, bro. You fucking up the ways that people is trying to get paid, bro. People can't even get jobs like that because we know our worth. We know our worth. We know our network. We know how we are as men. We know what the fuck we wanna do to survive. So at the end of the day, we looking at it like, damn, I ain't gonna work for twenty dollars an hour. When you pay you can pay this nigga twelve dollars an hour. It's, he's getting a raise. In that country, they make four or five dollars an hour. You come over here illegally, and you can make two, you can make how? That's impossible. You understand what I'm saying? Right. My main thing is, you That's know, uh, I don't hate, I don't discriminate. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Over here, and the struggle in their country is so real that when they come over here and get a chance, working sixteen hours a day, hard labor ain't nothing. That's some shit they was already doing. Now they get to do it and actually get some money for it. They was doing it for free. 
for not, free. Nah, 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 nah. We was doing it for free. Let's clear that up, homie. We we're doing were it, doing it for but, free. But that's not legal no more. They 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 stole. They fucked us over. And they're supposed to give us 40 acres in the mule or whatever, whatever. I don't know where the fuck that shit at. But yeah, this is what you know what I'm saying. <laughs> where, where is that? How could? We don't know where the yeah. fuck is that, man. Hey, look, man. Straight Drop TV, man. I got my but, nigga Big Ooze on this motherfucker, man. Hey, look. I want you to get your closing remarks on it, man. Get your closing remarks on this motherfucker, man. Yeah, closing, closing, closing remarks. Like I was just <laughs> saying, man. You know, they got, they, they got, they got what they got from us. You know, saying back in the past. But the good thing about it right now, man, is everybody got a chance to win. Everybody, you know I ain't making no excuses up, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got a lot of black niggas that's lazy too, though. Don't get me wrong. Some niggas don't even. Lady. Some niggas don't even want to work most. Like, the niggas is lazy, too. So, I, bet so. you, I bet if you take a percentage of the people that's on welfare, right. what is it going to say? What is it going to say? More white people than anybody. Do, do, should I Google right. it? Go, 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 right. go on your phone and Google it. The percentage of people on but But you know why? It's more people on welfare than white because there's more white people in the country right. than any other race. White people take advantage of the system. Right? Not even advantage. Right people go get what's owed to them. But I like I done had females, right? Yeah. That I done met, they be like, nah, I don't wanna be on governance sisters. Nah, I don't want it's not it slim. Why not get what they owe you? Yeah, why not get what they owe you? Yes, yeah, you got that much pride, you. Shorty? You got that much pride, you got much that that much dignity? You don't wanna get what's owed to you? This is what owed to you. You are old this. You ain't taking nothing for free. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Right, At the end of the day. Let me fuck that. You know what I mean? But look here, man. Straight Drop TV, man. News Network, man. We be right back at y'all, man. Another episode, man.